Welcome to Alt Finance, the funding frontier, the podcast where we explore the dynamic world of alternative financing. I'm your host, Jason Feimster, and in today's episode, we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for entrepreneurs and small business owners looking to expand, SBA loans. SBA loans, or Small Business Administration loans, are a lifeline for many businesses. They are not just loans, but a gateway to opportunities, allowing businesses to grow, hire, and contribute to the economy. Today, we're going to unpack everything you need to know about SBA loans, from what they are, how they work, and how you can successfully secure one for your business expansion. Whether you're a seasoned business owner or just starting out, understanding SBA loans can be a game changer for your financial strategy. So let's get started and unlock the potential of SBA loans together. Welcome to the first segment of today's episode, where we're going to delve into the heart of SBA loans. SBA, or the Small Business Administration, is a U.S. government agency that supports entrepreneurs and small businesses. The essence of small business loans is not in the money itself, but in the support and opportunities they provide to small businesses across the nation. What are SBA loans? First thing first, let's define what SBA loans are. An SBA loan is a small business loan partially guaranteed by the government, specifically the Small Business Administration. This guarantee reduces the risk for lenders, making it easier for small businesses to get funding. It's important to note that the SBA is not the direct lender. Instead, it works with various lending partners, including banks and credit unions. The history and purpose. The Small Business Administration was established in 1953 with a mission to maintain and strengthen the nation's economy by enabling the establishment and viability of small businesses. Over the decades, the SBA has played a crucial role in helping small businesses access the funding they need, especially when they might not qualify for traditional bank loans. Types of SBA Loans There are several types of SBA loans, each designed to meet different business needs. The most popular ones include 7A loans. These are the most common and flexible SBA loans. They can be used for a variety of purposes, including working capital, debt refinancing, and purchasing real estate or equipment. 504 loans. These are specifically used for purchasing major fixed assets, like real estate or machinery. A key feature of 504 loans is their low down payment and fixed interest rate. Microloans. As the name suggests, these are smaller loans up to 50,000, meant for startups and smaller businesses. They are ideal for working capital, inventory, supplies, or equipment. Each of these loan types is tailored for specific business needs, and choosing the right one can be pivotal in your business's growth journey. Eligibility and Requirements Navigating the world of SBA loan begins with understanding who is eligible and what you need to apply. This segment focuses on the eligibility criteria for SBA loans, the required documentation, and common misconceptions about who can qualify for these loans. Who is eligible for an SBA loan? To be eligible for an SBA loan, a business must meet certain criteria. First, Operate for profit. Your business should officially be registered and operate for profit in the United States or its territories. Size standards. The SBA has defined size standards based on the industry. Typically, a small business is one with fewer than 500 employees or less than $7.5 million in average annual receipts. Business location and operation. The business must be physically located and operate in the U.S. or its territories. Investment and effort. The owner must have invested their own time or money into the business. Other financing options. The business should not be able to get funds from any other financial lender without causing undue hardship. Documentation and prerequisites. When applying for an SBA loan, be prepared with the following documentation. Business financial statements to prove your business's financial health. Personal financial statements. Lenders will likely check your personal credit history as a measure of reliability. Business plan. 
a detailed business plan that shows your business's potential for success. Collateral. While not always required, collateral can improve your chances of approval. Legal documents. These may include business licenses, articles of incorporation, contracts, leases, and any other agreements pertaining to the business. Common misconceptions about eligibility. There are myths surrounding SBA loan eligibility. For instance, it's a common belief that startups cannot get SBA loans, which is not entirely true. While it's tougher for startups to, to qualify due to lack of financial history, they are not outrightly disqualified. Another misconception is that SBA loans require perfect credit. In reality, credit requirements are more flexible compared to traditional bank loans. Securing an SBA loan involves a well-defined application process. This segment will guide you through each step, provide tips for a successful application, and explain how to find a SBA-approved lender. Step-by-step -step guide to applying for an SBA loan. Determine your needs. Before anything else, assess what you need the loan for, whether it's for working capital, buying equipment, or refinancing other debts. This will determine the type of SBA loan you should apply for. Prepare your business plan. A solid, detailed business plan is crucial. It should outline your business's goals, how you plan to use the loan, and financial projections for the future. Gather necessary documentation. This includes your financial statements, personal and business tax returns, ownership and affiliation, business licenses, and a resume that shows you have the experience to run your business. Find an SBA-approved lender. You can start with your current bank, but not all banks offer SBA loans. The SBA has a tool called Lender Match that can help you find a participating lender. Complete the loan application. Fill out the SBA loan application forms. Your lender can help guide you through this process. Loan processing and underwriting. Once you submit your application, the lender will review it. This stage includes credit checks, review of your financials, and potentially additional documentation requests. Loan approval and disbursement. If your application is successful, you'll receive a loan proposal. Upon accepting it, you'll go through the closing process, after which the funds will be dispersed. Tips for a successful application. Be thorough and honest. Ensure that all your documentation is complete and accurate. Honesty in your application is critical. Understand your credit score. Your personal and business credit scores are vital components of your loan application. Know where you stand before applying. Seek guidance. Don't hesitate to seek advice from a financial advisor or an SBA loan expert. Finding SBA approved lenders. Finding the right lender is as important as the application itself. Utilize the SBA's Lender Match tool or consult with your current bank. Remember, different lenders might have different criteria or areas of focus, so choose one that aligns well with your business needs and objectives. Navigating the SBA loan application process can be intricate, but is undoubtedly manageable with the right preparation and understanding. In this segment, we explore real-life examples of businesses that have thrived thanks to SBA loans, providing tangible proof of how these loans can be a catalyst for growth and success. Story 1, a local bakery's expansion. Let's start with the story of Sweet Treats Bakery, a small local bakery in Austin, Texas. The owner, Sarah Johnson, had a dream of expanding her bakery to include a cafe space. However, she faced the all-too-common challenge of limited capital. By securing an SBA 7A loan, Sarah was able to renovate her bakery, purchase new baking equipment, and even hire additional staff. The loan was not just a financial boost, but a vote of confidence in her business. Today, Sweet Treats Bakery has become a beloved community spot, known for its pastries and vibrant cafe atmosphere. Story 2 turning a vision into reality with a 504 loan. Next, let's look at Green Tech Innovations, a small tech startup specializing in eco-friendly technologies. The founder, David Martinez, had a vision of owning a facility to expand his research and production capabilities. An SBA 504 loan, ideal for purchasing real estate and equipment, 
enabled him to acquire a new research facility. This expansion led to significant growth in their operations and the creation of several new jobs in their community. Story 3. Microloan Success in the Fashion Industry Lastly, consider the story of Vogue Visions, a burgeoning fashion design studio started by aspiring designer Alina Rodriguez. Alina's challenge was the lack of funds to purchase high-quality fabrics and sewing equipment. By securing a microloan through the SBA, she was able to invest in the necessary materials and tools to create her first fashion line. This initial boost helped Vogue Visions gain recognition in local fashion shows, setting the stage for a promising future in the fashion industry. These stories exemplify the transformative power of SBA loans. They're not just about financial support, but about realizing dreams, creating jobs, and contributing to local economies. In this segment, we'll compare SBA loans with traditional bank loans, highlighting the advantages and potential drawbacks of each. This comparison is crucial for business owners to make informed decisions about which type of loan best suits their needs. The Advantages of SBA Loans Lower Down Payments and Flexible Overheads SBA loans often require lower down payments compared to traditional loans, making them more accessible for small business owners. This can be especially beneficial for businesses with limited upfront capital. Longer repayment terms. SBA loans typically offer longer repayment terms. This means lower monthly payments, which can be easier for businesses to manage. More lenient requirements. The government guarantee associated with SBA loans often leads to more lenient qualification requirements, making them accessible to businesses that might not qualify for traditional loans. Capped interest rates. The SBA loans have maximum interest rates set by the SBA, which can often be lower than those of traditional bank loans. The advantages of traditional bank loans. Speed of approval. Traditional bank loans can sometimes be processed and funded more quickly than SBA loans, which can be vital for businesses needing immediate funding. Less paperwork and complexity. The application process for traditional bank loans can be simpler and more straightforward compared to the extensive documentation and approval process required for SBA loans. Flexibility and terms and conditions. Some traditional bank loans offer more flexibility in terms and conditions, depending on the lender's policies and the borrower's financial standing. Potential drawbacks. SBA loans. The main drawback is the complexity and length of the application process. Additionally, some SBA loans require collateral, which can be a barrier for some businesses. Traditional bank loans. Higher down payments and interest rates, along with stricter qualification criteria, can be challenging for small businesses or those with less than perfect credit histories. Understanding the difference between SBA loans and traditional bank loans is key to choosing the right financing option for your business. Securing an SBA loan is a significant achievement for any small business, but it's not without its challenges and pitfalls. In this segment, we'll discuss some common hurdles business owners face with SBA loans and provide guidance on how to navigate these effectively. Understanding the fine print. One of the first challenges is understanding the complex terms and conditions of SBA loans. It's crucial to thoroughly read and comprehend the loan agreement. Pay particular attention to the repayment terms, interest rates, and any fees or penalties. If there are aspects you don't understand, don't hesitate to consult with a financial advisor or legal expert. Managing cash flow for repayment. Another challenge is managing your business's cash flow to ensure timely loan repayments. This requires careful financial planning and budgeting. It's essential to balance your business's operational costs, investments, and loan repayments without straining your finances. Preparing for a lengthy application process. The SBA loan application process can be lengthy and requires a significant amount of documentation. Prepare for this by organizing all required documents in advance and being ready for a detailed review of your business's financial history. Patience and thorough preparation are key. Avoiding over leveraging. Borrowing more than what your business can comfortably repay can lead to financial strain. Assess your business's financial capacity realistically 
and borrow only what you need. Over leveraging can put your business and personal finances at risk. Keeping up with compliance. SBA loans come with specific requirements and compliance standards. Ensure that your business adheres to these throughout the loan term. Non-compliance can result in penalties or even loan default. Seeking expert advice. Finally, don't underestimate the value of professional advice. Financial advisors, loan experts, and even other business owners who have gone through the process can offer invaluable insights and guidance. As we move towards the future, it's essential to understand the evolving landscape of SBA loans. In this segment, we'll explore current trends, potential changes in SBA loan programs, and what these developments might mean for future borrowers. Emerging trends in SBA lending. Increased emphasis on technology. The SBA is continually adopting new technologies to streamline the loan application process. This includes digital applications and automated underwriting systems, making it faster and easier for businesses to access funding. Focus on underserved markets. There's a growing focus on extending SBA loans to traditionally underserved markets, including minority-owned, women-owned, and veteran-owned businesses. This includes initiatives to provide better access and support to these groups. Enhanced disaster relief efforts. Recent global events have highlighted the need for robust disaster relief funding. The SBA is likely to continue playing a key role in providing financial assistance to businesses affected by natural disasters and economic crises. Potential changes and developments. Expansion of loan programs. We may see the introduction of new loan programs or the expansion of existing ones tailored to address specific needs such as environmental sustainability, technological innovation, or health care. Flexible loan terms. In response to changing economic conditions, there might be adjustment in loan terms, such as longer repayment periods or lower interest rates to provide more flexibility for borrowers. Policy changes. Legislative changes can significantly impact SBA loan programs. Staying informed about policy shifts is crucial for anyone considering an SBA loan. Impact on future borrowers. For future borrowers, these trends and changes could mean easier access to funding, more tailored loan products, and enhanced support during challenging times. However, it also means that borrowers need to stay informed and adaptable to leverage these opportunities effectively. The future of SBA loans look promising, with advancements and changes geared towards making funding more accessible and supportive for small businesses. In this final segment of our episode, we're turning to you, our listeners, to address your questions and provide deeper insights into the world of SBA loans. Let's dive into some of the questions that have come in. One listener asks, is it more challenging for a startup or new business to secure an SBA loan compared to an established business? The short answer is, it can be. Startups may face more hurdles due to a lack of financial history, but it's not impossible. The key is to have a solid business plan, demonstrate potential for success, and possibly offer collateral. For startups, an SBA microloan might be a more suitable option. Another question comes from a listener wondering how their personal credit score affects their chances of getting an SBA loan. Personal credit is a significant factor in the SBA loan process. While the SBA doesn't set a specific credit score requirement, most lenders look for a good credit history. If your credit score isn't strong, you may still qualify, but you'll need to demonstrate strong business finances or offer collateral. A listener inquires, can I use an SBA loan to refinance existing business debt? Yes, SBA loans can be used for debt refinancing under certain conditions. The debt must be for a business purpose, and refinancing with an SBA loan should improve your cash flow and meet the lender's and SBA's criteria. Our final question for today is, are there any circumstances under which an SBA loan can be forgiven? Typically, SBA loans are not forgivable. Loans under the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, which was a specific response to the COVID-19 pandemic, were an exception. However, standard SBA loans must be repaid according to the agreed-upon terms. Thank you to everyone who sent in questions. 
Your engagement makes this journey into the world of alternative financing all the more exciting and informative. As we bring today's episode to a close, I want to thank you, our listeners, for joining us on this enlightening journey through the world of SBA loans. We've covered a lot of ground today, from understanding the basics of SBA loans, eligibility requirements, and the application process, to hearing success stories and comparing SBA loans with traditional bank loans. We also navigated the common challenges and looked ahead to the future of SBA lending, wrapped up with a lively Q&A session. Remember, SBA loans are more than just financial tools. They are stepping stones to realizing your business dreams. They offer a unique blend of support, flexibility, and opportunity that can be pivotal in taking your business to the next level. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand, SBA loans could be the key to unlocking your business's potential. As we sign off from this episode of All Finance, The Funding Frontier, I encourage you to keep exploring your financing options. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay focused on your business goals. The world of alternative financing is vast and full of opportunities, and we're here to help you navigate it. Join us again next time, where we will continue to demystify the complexities of finance and help you make the most informed decisions for your business. Until then, this is Jason Feimster, wishing you success in all your entrepreneurial endeavors. Keep pushing boundaries, and remember, in the world of business, the sky's the limit.